Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chris Bliss, so we're all having a blissful day. We're back in the Wolf Among Us. Last time we decided to go to Toad's apartment rather than uh, the Prince, so let's just take a look and see. We're in his apartment. We saw a man, but it wasn't Toad. No one doesn't make this much of a mess. And we hear some sobbing kind of around us, so um, I think there's a woman. And there was a big man out there as well, or in this apartment. All right, let's. Uh, I think that's everything in this room. Let's go ahead and go downstairs. Looks like this is the room with snow found it for us. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry, yes, there was someone else. Into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... It's fine. Relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, it's all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Well, so much for being nice. All right, let's take a look at this busted latch. The lock's busted. Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Yeah, that's not a guilty face at all. All right, let's look at this smash lamp. And the lamp's broke too. Fucking hell! Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. The lamp just fell off the table. You know, with this place, it's like living on a foundation of termites. It is. All so cheap, it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. Mm hmm. Huh, we looked at this, but I guess that's not a, uh, not a clue. Um, let's go over here. Is there anything? There's blood! What the heck? You 
bleeding? Why? You say it's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. He's not fooling anyone. Alright, let's keep on going looking around. Looks like, okay, there's a, a fireplace poker that has blood on it, it looks like. more blood over here on the poker yeah what happened oh well that's that's how it happened didn't it i was i was poking the coals and it slipped a bit sliced up in my foot like a seashell but like a shit ugly thing if you're gonna say something out with it wait you dropped it on your foot you told me before that you cut your hand yeah no i, I did cut my hand I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you cover for it, but I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. And why would he call though if if he was wasn't uh bullshitting us? That more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Uh maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean who knows? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because Arkham the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. All right. Well, he's obviously not going to tell us anything. Uh, let's look outside the window. Looks like there's some s scratch marks, maybe? Let's uh, open it. Go outside. Let me look at these marks. marks here from the window sill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. You heard uh, the new uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? All right. So this guy. Uh, why didn't Junior let you in? Junior was home. Why didn't he let you in? It was the middle of a sodding night, Big B. I'm supposed to wake him because his jammy daddy didn't remember to check his pockets. Big B, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... 
They're sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad? Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? I'm not gonna threaten him. Cut me in. I broke the lamp. I you lied. The key, so I climbed the sill. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. Oh, jeez. It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman ain't. Or well, thought he ain't, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, well, Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. The heck? Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. Hmm. Let's Just open it. Open it. it. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince's now? Lawrence's, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. 
I wasn't expecting that. Uh. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. All right, well, let's go into his apartment and see. Don't just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Well. Can you hear me? We're going in. Look at his body and see what the heck. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, you're going to be okay. Just no, no, let me go. What is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water. Kitchen. Alright, let's get into the kitchen. Where's the kitchen? Oh, here it is. God, what the heck? Get in there. Oh my gosh, I'm like stuck on the environment. Alright, here we go. Let's look at this note real quick. Did you find it yet? Yeah, yeah, come on. Why do I always look so mean? If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Who did this to you? <laughs> Faith. What? Do you still have that letter? Yes. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. Well, let's look at we the crime. Figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. Yeah, let's look at the crime scene. There's a lot of crime. Let's look at Lawrence. Oh, here's a gun. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. All right, what else do we got? We got a shell casing, so probably was fired. Is the caliber of the gun on the floor. Look at the pills. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. I thought I saw one more thing. The dagger? I guess we can't look at the dagger. Anything else? Oh, the fan. That doesn't really help. 
Well. Okay, I guess that's everything. Alright, let's back out and s go around again. Okay, let's look at this bullet hole. Let's look at the picture. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Blood on the ground is not a good sign. Still a little sticky. Got the blood. Let's look at the, the knife, the dagger, whatever. It's sharp. And there's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Let's look inside of this panel. Another note. Dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. What the heck is going on? I cannot put these pieces together at all. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Let's look in the closet and see. Oh crap. Stay here. Scared me. <laughs> that was the guy who we saw in Toad's apartment. Stop! Leave me alone! Oh crap. Uh. Mash A. Mash. I'm gonna go with this one. No, not that one. Let's look behind the cabinet. God dang it, there he is. Are you serious? Nice, thank God. Hey! Ease up, Bibby. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Who are you? What? Who are you? Listen, man. I'm a private investigator. A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Then who did? Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions too. 
What were you doing back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down... leads. What kind of leads? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. <laughs> Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Well, it could be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> oh, crap. <laughs> 